guys, Steve from BNS Customs here. We got a pro tip for you today. It's how to get a stuck rotor off when you're doing a brake job. Hope you enjoy it. The rotor did not want to come off. You can see where I've been hitting it with the hammer. Uh, it's a common problem. It will rust on to the, the center uh, spindle here. Um, some people will keep hitting it harder or they'll get a blowtorch and hit it off. That's not what you want to do. This is a cool trick. It's one of the best tricks I know. And what you do is you take a bolt with, let's try and get the light on this. You see how I have it. I have a long bolt and I have two nuts and one washer there. And you get it set up like this. And what you do is you drive this nut. Um, as, and as you drive the nut, it will suck the bolt in. And with the nut here, just for more, uh, more um, surface area, it will push the rotor. Now, it's optimal to have two of those, and you tighten the top a little, tighten the bottom a little. I lost the other bolt long ago, but I was able to do it with just one. I started at the top, and I brought it forward, and you can see the rotor starting to, you know, cock a little bit, but it, it didn't come off. Put it on the bottom, and I kept driving it, and then you'll hear a loud, a loud pop. And when that happens, now the rotor is free. You could do it on any vehicle, cars, whatever it's stuck on. If you don't want to do the hammer, never use a blowtorch. Just do a little setup like this, and it'll break your rotor free for you. I've only ever had to do this on the trucks. The cars, that's usually never a problem. A couple hits with a hammer will do it, but the trucks, it always seems they're rusted on, and i got to use this trick to, to get them off. So there you have it. I hope this video helped you out. Please remember to like the video and give us a thumbs up. We'll see you next time. Take care, everyone.